welcome to the next segment in our Getting Started series. We will learn about exporting designs to your machine format. If you have not watched the previous video on saving designs to EMB, I recommend that you go back now and watch that video first. So talking about export, let's see what happens when we export and why do we export. You export a design when you want to save it to stitch on your machine. You export the design to your machine format. You've already saved the design to EMB and you're ready now to save the design into a format that your machine reads. This format is a stitch file. You will hear this referred in several different ways and they all mean basically the same thing. Save design to machine format, convert design to machine format, export design to machine format, which is what Hatch uses. Now, a little information about stitch files. They are not capable of saving all the information about the design like your EMB file can. They only save the information that the machine needs. This is why you always want to save your file first as EMB so that when you come back to work on the file, you open up the EMB to work on that has all the information in it. Otherwise, if you open your stitch file, you're opening a file that does not have all the information included in it that, was, that originally was digitized. Some of the files like PASS and VP3 can retain a limited set of colors, but most of the stitch formats and the main ones like DST and EXP will only retain the stitch information, such as the XY coordinates and the stops or color stops. This is really the only information that your machine needs to know how to stitch the design. This is the way stitch files have worked forever. It's not new to Hatch. Exporting a design using the file menu. As usual, you can go to the top, File, Export Your Design. A dialog window will open. You can select your file type you need. This is your machine type. You can give it a name. You can save it to the default location or to the location of your choice. And then you click Save. As I said earlier, the best place to save and export your design is in the Output Design Toolbox. We just saved our design as EMB. Now we're ready to export it. We click on Export Design, and then the dialog window will open. Again, you find your location. You give it a name, you save it as a stitch type that your machine needs, and you click on Save. There's one more way that you can export your design, and that is using the Transfer Design function that you will find up in your toolbox. If you save to the same machine format over and over, and you want to have all your machine format designs in one location so that they're easy to move to your USB, or other device to connect to your machine, you may like to use the transfer design function in the software. But first you'll need to set it up. You can select your machine brand and model or select others. I'll just select a machine of any kind. Now you click on the transfer design icon. The first time you do this, you will need to set it up. You select your machine, you select the file format type that you want to export to, and you select your location. I just leave this generally as my default location, but if you have a particular place that you like to move your files to, click on the browse. It will open up your a window, and then you can select where you would like to save those. Once you have that done, you click OK. Once that is set up, and you're ready to save your design, all you need to do is just click on Transfer and it will automatically convert it and save it. It's told me that it has saved my Design 3 and it has sent it to my Five Creative 2.0, which is what my settings is here. Now, this is not transferring it to your machine. This is only transferring it to the folder on your hard drive 
where you select it and where you set it up. You will then take the design, put it on the device that you need, and send it to your machine. So you're probably asking, okay, this is all good, but how do I get it to my machine? Your machine file has been saved to your hard drive or whatever location that you've selected to save it to. Using the Windows Explorer, go to that location and copy the design to a USB or other device that your machine will read. I have a lot of customers tell me that they will take their USB stick and attach it to their computer and then they save or export the design directly onto their USB stick and they're ready to take it to their machine to stitch out. You may need to refer to your machine's instruction manual to see what is required for your particular machine. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you check out our other videos in the Hatch Getting Started series.